All right, how's it going, guys? I'm back at it again. In here for the video, and in here for my WWE 2015 Mori Rumble predictions, and giving you guys my thoughts on who I like to see win the outcome of the matches. And I gotta say, for the Mori Rumble 2015, it got me really hyped, especially going for the Raw reunion show, which was really great, and it got me even more excited for the show and seeing uh, a lot of people, uh, for the most part, return where we had the APA, B Bart Brack, the New Age Outlaws, the NWO, which is badass as well. We had Shawn Michaels, Hulk Hogan, and Ric Flair, just to name a few, and as well with Sting being able to make his first ever Raw appearance as well. So I am actually a little hopeful that Sting might actually show up at the Royal Rumble. We'll have to wait and see uh, on that. And it's interesting how they're calling him the Vigilante. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, a lot to look forward to. To, uh, going into this Sunday's War Rumble, so anything can really happen, and let's not waste any more time and get right into it uh, with the first match that we do have for the kickoff show or the pre show match where we have the New Day going up against Adam Rose, Cesaro, and Tyson Kidd, and uh, uh, one of many tag team matches of the night, too, as well, might I add, which is kind of weird, too, because most of the matches, besides the main event, which will probably be for the WWE World Heavyweight Title match, which is a triple threat match in the Royal Rumble itself. Um, you know, besides all that, the rest are tag team matches, which is kind of unheard of and a little rare. Uh, but uh, as far as the pre-show match, the kickoff match, um, you know, with this one, I do would like to see Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, and Adam Rose get the win. I kind of get where they're going with Adam Rose and being the heel and being with uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. You know, they don't really need Adam Rose. I think Adam Rose is fine on his own. And it's nice that he's really getting that heel push for him and I think eventually would lead to a Leo Kruger return and actually have him be more on his own since uh, him being the heel and then he still having the Rose buds with him is kind of weird. I, I really love the teamwork between Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. That should definitely be showcased more. So, uh, there's my picks when it comes to that. As far as the new day is concerned, they are growing on me a little bit, but I feel like within time there might be uh, more of a change when it comes to them. But it is nice that Kofi Kingston, Biggie, and Xavier Woods are being able to at least do something, and they're in the stable. But you know, to me, it's like hit or miss. It depends on what's happening uh, between them. Uh, so uh, there you have it. At the most, takes the kid and Cesaro are my main picks. Next match, we have a Divas match, and it's not for the Divas title, and it's yet another tag team match where we have Paige and Natalia taking on the Bella Twins, and we've been able to see this transpire too, especially on Total Divas, especially with Paige and Natty uh, having some altercations and not really exactly getting along, and how Paige has been uh, showing herself lately towards Natty and having herself, you know, be exploited in a different way, which Natty isn't really used to, so she had a really calm Paige down to uh, on top of that so uh, it looks like to me you know it could go either or with this one I actually kind of see Paige and Natalia being able to get the win I would like to see that I thought it was going to come down to either Paige or Natalia most likely Natalia to get the Divas Championship and be able to face Nikki Bella but we'll probably see that at Fastlane uh, or just heading towards into Wrestlemania for Wrestlemania 31 uh, so uh, with this tag team match you know I am actually actually going to go with Paige and Natalia on this one. That's just me. If the Bellas win, then uh, that's fine. And it just gives more momentum for Nikki Bella and as well the Bella Twins overall. So this is the first time in a long time uh, since uh, basically around SummerSlam time for last year uh, that we've seen the Bella Twins actually uh, together in a tag team match. So now that they're able to uh, get along more so it looks like they're going to be able to be just fine at being able to tag with one another and be uh, the heels and everything now so it's actually interesting to see uh, how things will transpire too especially who will be able to get the shot for the Divas Championship uh, most likely going into Fastlane or WrestleMania 31 so overall I do have Paige and Natalia getting the win here
Then yes, we have one more tag team match, and that's right. This time it is for the tag team titles. We will have the Miz and his old Damian Miz now being able to go at it, and that's right. We're able to see now uh, with them being able to face the Usos. So uh, this one, you know, hopefully this will come to an end. And we've been seeing this a lot lately, especially with these two teams now being able to have it for the tag team titles. Uh, hopefully uh, things will go to an end and see. Uh, Basically, a new team really step up to see uh, who will they face uh, for the tag team titles and who will face the Usos. So, of course, the Usos are going to be my pick as well. I'm uh, not too sure if Naomi's going to get involved here and when Naomi was trying to deal with the Miz and everything and the Miz seeing uh, a better business opportunity for Naomi. So, that probably will happen or not, depending to see uh, where that's going to go. So, uh, I think this will all come to an end this Sunday at the Royal Rumble and the Usos will be able to retain their tag team titles. Then the next match where we had this match be able to be uh, brought up on us too as well, a part of the Raw Reunion show where we had the New Age Outlaws being able to make their return against the Ascension and we've seen the Ascension lately basically saying they're better than the tag teams from the past and everything and you know what happened with them on Raw on Monday too as well, uh, being able to see them be laid out by most of the tag teams, which was uh, crazy as hell and a really dope moment, so I, I thought it was really badass and well worth it, uh, definitely awesome, so, uh, you know, with this one, uh, I would like to see the Ascension be able to try and pick up a win here over the New Age Outlaws, just to have some, uh, at least, momentum going for them, but I'm pretty sure the New Age Outlaws will get the win and uh, you know, the Ascension, I still like them as a tag team. Uh, I haven't really been into, like, what they've been. I've been able to say that they're better than tag teams from the past and everything, but uh, hopefully things will get better for the Ascension over time, which I think they will. Uh, so with this one, I'll probably have to say the New York Outlaws overall to get the win over the Ascension, but you never really know, so there you have it with that tag team match as well. Then we get into the Warrior Rumble, the 30 man over the top rope Warrior Rumble match where anything can really happen and just by what the returns that we got on the Royal Reunion show and just showing the importance of the Royal Rumble really means a lot and like I said before, you know, I had the highest of honors being a part of the 2008 Royal Rumble in New York City in Madison Square Garden in the garden so that was really badass there and something that I do hold near and dear to me so uh, really one of my favorite moments and actually my first pay-per-view is being able to go there like I mentioned to you on a podcast with Team My Right too. Uh, but with that being said, you know, as far as returns go, uh, it could be from anybody, especially what we've seen on the Raw Reunion show. Uh, probably have, like, uh, the New Age Outlaws be able to go back out there and be in the Royal Rumble. Uh, maybe JBL and Ron Simmons uh, in the Royal Rumble match as well. Maybe some of the members of the NWO, like X-Pac and uh, not too sure about Scott Hill. Uh, that would be something interesting, but, you know, that's uh, something that should be a uh, sight to see, really. Uh, but, you know, it kind of has me on the spot on who I really uh, want. Uh, I also mentioned maybe Chris Jericho will come back. I know he's doing house shows. He's mentioned it time and time again on this podcast and everything. And I've seen it on uh, sites like WrestleZone and stuff like that. So uh, having him being able to come back is uh, definitely interesting. I've been hearing... Uh, Rumors on Goldberg might actually be able to look to possibly make a return that could happen at the Royal Rumble. You just never know. It's uh, really unpredictable. But as far as I, who I want to win and some guys that I would like to see win, well, that uh, I do have my eyes set on. Uh, I do have either uh, Brody Wyatt uh, should be something uh, to be able to see him win to see what he's going to go for WrestleMania 31. Uh, one of my dog courses, if you will. Uh, also, Dean Ambrose as well. Uh, I would like to see him be able to win the Royal Rumble and see him do other things. And uh, he's really uh, grown on me too, so he's definitely one of my favorites to see each and every week. Uh, Roman Reigns, however, you know, it's kind of hit or miss with me, you know. Uh, they are doing a little bit more better with him so far at the moment, you know. Just have him talk less and, you know, show him more as a badass. I think that would be uh, able to go a long way with Roman Reigns. I say uh, most likely have him win it next year, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he does win it this year. Uh, so, you know. 
and it is what it is when it comes to that. But as far as my number one pick, definitely Daniel Bryan is who I'm going for, especially with the hell he's been through and uh, it was in question with his career, like if he was going to come back or not. Uh, so there was that whole thing, especially to uh, before uh, he was able to make his return. So now that he's back in the ring and ready to go, he actually looks really good. So uh, I think Daniel Bryan does have a shot and a chance to be able to win and go all the way to WrestleMania 31 as the 2015 World Rumble winner. So there you have it with that. Uh, that might be able to close the show. Uh, I'm not really too sure. Uh, but, you know, this really wouldn't be the first time if the Royal Rumble would become, uh, you know, before uh, the championship main event match. So it has been done before. So uh, it is what it is when it comes to that. So definitely leave me your thoughts on who you think should win the Royal Rumble for your, your top five or top whatever picks for the Royal Rumble and who you think should return and who would you like to see in the 2015 Royal Rumble match overall. Then we get into the main event, which probably would be the main event, if not, it'll probably be before the Royal Rumble match itself, where we have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line between Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, and as well John Cena. And now with this one, uh, it should be really great. I love uh, how things were able to transpire to you as of late, and it really seems to be unpredictable to you at this point uh, throughout most of the uh, feud and everything that's been going on, you know, John Cena has been trying to get his team, Team Cena, back, and it looks to be that way, especially with the help of Sting on Raw Renewed and everything, so I'm sure uh, Eric you know, Eric Bowen, uh, Dobbs Ligger, and as well Ryback would be able to be a part of the Royal Rumble match to itself as well, so that's really cool, so I was expecting them to come back, and it's great that they are able to most likely be back this Sunday, so uh, that was the whole point of that as well. Well, I'll go into this triple threat and I like how Seth Rollins too uh, is being able to be like a heel uh, like he is and as well a villain out of the comic book. I thought that was pretty interesting uh, that I added to it on Twitter not too long ago. I just got that vibe out of Seth Rollins too each and every time which is actually pretty interesting. So. Uh, you know, and as well, we got Brock Lesnar looking to remain champion and go to WrestleMania as champion. So, uh, there is a lot to look forward to. And Seth Rollins still hasn't cashed in his money in the bank briefcase, so he's still looking to do that. And uh, I think there's most likely to uh, Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar in one on one match. I would like to see at some point. I think that'd be interesting, like a heel versus heel type of match. Uh, if it at least happens once, uh, maybe on the pay per view. Uh, for the following month, I think that would be interesting, but it probably won't happen. That's just me uh, giving a wild guess. But as far as who I really want to win, it can really go either or, and it's really hard to really say on who is my main pick on this one. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised on either way of the outcome. But overall, if I had to pick one, I would probably have to say Seth Rollins, and he's been able to have a lot of momentum for the most part, uh, especially to trying to have the authority by his side. He's got the money in the bank briefcase, so if he does lose, he'll still be able to win, which is crazy as hell, so anything can happen. Uh, so uh, there you have it with that. So I'm probably going to have to say I said Rollins overall, despite uh, not only that reason, but, you know, I think it would be sort of interesting and very interesting to see, actually, to see how that turnout would be able to go around. So uh, there you have it for my Royal Rumble 2015 pay-per-view predictions and my preview, my thoughts and opinions overall on uh, for this uh, Wednesday and as well for Hump Day and pay-per-view prediction day, if you will. So there you have it with that. Leave me your thoughts and picks and predictions. Who do you want to win the 2015 Warrior Rumble overall? What are you most looking forward to? And until then, I'll catch you guys in the review. And now uh, within the hot seat live, that will most likely be Fort Ben for Fast Lane since I know we did uh, the hangout on Simon's channel and I was able to bring it on my channel. So uh, I will be bringing that back for fast lane so I didn't want to like overwhelm you guys and I understand that so it was just me on the solo video so uh, with that being said leave your thoughts and opinions enjoy the Royal Rumble and I will see you on Sunday